Hi guys. Hi Uber. What I have here is Genshin Impact. Running natively on the Steam Deck and it has full controller support. Everything works. It's an installed game. It even has art on it. There you go. I'll show you how to do all of that. No need for Windows installs. I'll delete the game. I'll hook a camera and a bunch of wires. And I'm going to install the game from scratch together with you guys. I'm going to show you how to change the art, how to do the settings, how to make the controller work natively, how to update the game when a new patch comes out. So let's get started. I will only be using the Steam Deck to do this. So you can do the same, just follow along. I might be a little bit slower, but I want to show you how to do it without any mouse, no additional keyboard, no additional PC, just the Steam Deck is what you need. So let's start. First thing first, let's go in desktop mode. Hit the Steam button, go to power, switch to desktop. Now once in desktop mode, open your preferred browser of choice and write in Genshin Impact Download to get a keyboard on your screen. Press and hold Steam button, then X. And wait for the download to finish. Once that's done, open up the folder location of where the file is. Right click the file and choose Add to Steam. This is the easiest way to add the game to Steam. Now, once that's done, we're going to open Steam library from down here and down here we're going to see the installer right click it properties I'm gonna butcher this compatibility force the use and then choose the last proton you have which should be 801 choose this then you can close click it and hit play and let's install the game together you can use the touch screen also, for me it's a bit harder because I'm mirroring my screen uh, and uh, as you can see sometimes my mouse stops moving but just use the touch screen and you'll be fine. Hit install. Hit install here also. You can close this. And now we arrive at this point. For this to run, we can't just hit run now. So we are going to close the game. We are going to remove the shortcut we have created by right clicking it. Manage remove non-steam game. So now what we have to do is now we have to find where the game is located. I will link the main folder in the description below. But keep in mind that the number of the folder may vary and you might have to do a little bit of searching. So let's do that together. Now this is the folder we need. Just make sure in order to find the folder that right here on the right you have checked show hidden files otherwise you'll not be able to see some of the folders you need to open so make sure this is checked out and then you have to go to home deck dot local share steam steam apps compat data now we have to find the folder where the game is and if you have a lot of things installed like me here you have to do a little bit of searching so that's what i'm going to do now what we're looking for is Genshin Impact, so I did finally found it. This time around, it was in a complete different number folder. But keep in mind, probably it's going to be a different number. After that, you have to go to PFX, Drive C, and then Program Files. Some things you install will instead be right here. Some will be in Program Files x86. So just look in all of the folders. For Genshin Impact Launcher, it was in Program Files, Genshin Impact, and now we have to find the launcher itself. It should say launcher.exe, and there it is right here. Now, you have to do the same with this file that we did with the installer. Right click, add to Steam, and we're going to wait for a little bit. Open up Steam again, and we should see down here, launcher.exe. Exe. Now let's now let's left click it again. Properties, compatibility, force, and then again choose Proton 801. Close this. 
and now we're going to start the launcher to install the game update it and then play it of course let's click on this one click play now that we have started the launcher we have to install the game now the main problem is if you try by default you're going to get this error and this is because the default path is not working properly now what we have to do is to change this to some other folder now if you have an sd card i highly recommend installing the game on an sd card because this will help you reinstall later if you have any trouble and you won't have trouble finding the game and uninstalling it so if you have an sd card you're going to see it somewhere around here let me find this one this is my sd card here for me it's e and i know that because i have this folder there now for you it might be a different letter but this is for installing on an sd card just choose the default folder uh, hit open and then hit install in my case i'll do it on c program files and i'll install the game here in program files on c hit install we will wait for the game to install and then come back and i'll show you how to launch the game how to set up your controller support and, and how to add art to the game in steam we're back now we have the game installed here what you have to do now is simply close this up exit program and we're going to restart our steam deck in gaming mode you have to find the game the game should be in your library in non-steam games let me move my head from here as you can see i have a bunch of games here and here's our launcher for the game now we can rename this by hitting the options button Go to properties and let's rename this to Genshin Impact. Let's continue here. Instead of me, you're going to see my cat Avarai. Let's write the name here. We're going to write Genshin Impact. Now guys, it's important to name this properly because later I'll show you how to add the custom artwork for your game. And then we're going to close this. Go back, back again. And now our launcher will be called, as you can see. Let's move my cat here. Genshin Impact. Now, let's just start the game and I'll show you the next step. Here, just use the touch screen. If you don't see a mouse, click on launch and then you wait for the game. And as you can see, the game is running now. We will log in and I'll show you how to set up the controls so you can use the native controller support of the game. So here. Let's get the keyboard out with Steam and X button again. Oh, my verification code. Okay, again, use the touch screen here. Choose your server. Now guys, once logged in, click on the screen to enter the game. Now show you how to set up your mouse so we can switch the settings from the default, which is keyboard and mouse to the native joystick support of the game once in the game you won't be able to do anything this is because the default settings are set for keyboard and mouse and we don't have one so we first must set a mouse in order to change the buttons of the game uh, now as you know if you have played Genshin Impact on a computer when you hold the alt key you can use your mouse so we are going to set this up now go to steam controller settings now use the default layout go to edit layout and let's set the L4 button, which is the left top button on the back of the deck, because it's very convenient to hold while using the right touchpad. Let's set it to Alt. So go here, L4, and let's choose the Alt key. Now let's go to the trackpad. Choose the right trackpad here, change from a joystick to a mouse. And then let's set the click to be the left mouse click right here. Uh, go back now once in the game hold the l4 button and touching the right pad you're going to see the mouse click here go on settings here and change the controller type to controller go back with a as you can see the buttons are now laid out the game tells you what you need to click on your joystick in order to control the game which means we have native support now for our controller go back again and as you can see we can move we can hit uh, we can see the indications for our buttons let me now show you how to add custom art for your game so your collection can be complete 
Now back in the Steam menu, go to Steam, Power, and switch back to Desktop mode. Now to add a custom bar, there's two ways. One is to add it manually, the other is to use a custom tool called Steam Grid DB, which is a plugin for the plugin manager Deki. And we're going to install Deki Loader now. It has a bunch of useful features. You can watch my video with the six Steam Deck hacks. You'll see a link for this video in the end of this one. But let's continue installing Deki Loader here so we can add custom art to our game. Now, in desktop mode, go to the application launcher, settings and system settings. Here, go to users and you're going to see this screen here. Hit change password, write in the password you want. You need to set this password in order to install Deki. So just set the password here, make sure you remember it and hit set password and that's it. Now once that's done, go to Chrome, write in Deki Loader. I'm using only my deck here, no mouse, no keyboard. You don't need anything else to set this. Hit the second link, you will see download on top right corner of your screen. Click it and it will download this file. Now go to the file location, double click this file, hit continue. It will ask you for a password. So we just set our password here, there you go. Now it's going to ask you which version you want. Make sure here you choose release version. This is the most stable version, you don't want to play with anything else. Hit OK. I'll reinstall mine here just to show you guys how this works. Once that's done, we have deck installed. Let's restart our deck in gaming mode. Now once back in gaming mode, you're going to click the three dots on, your, on the right of your deck. What you're going to see here is this new thing. From here, you won't see all of the things I have installed already, system tools, power tools, a lot of those are very useful. Make sure to watch the video I mentioned earlier. So let's install Steam Grid DB. Go to the market icon right here and let's search for Steam Grid. There we go. So click install and I'll show you how that works now. There you go. We have it here. So there's nothing we need to use here. Let's go back to our game and I'll show you how this works. Let's go to library. Find our game right here it's very important to have the game named properly that's why we named the game earlier let's hit options and you're going to see this new thing here which says change artwork hit a and then you're going to see a bunch of artwork here just pick whatever you like uh, we have the capsule white capsule hero logo icon so let's pick first the capsule uh, let's find something that we like maybe Ganyu here it's a nice art let's pick this one now you're going to press R1 and choose our white capsule. So let's see something we like here. Maybe you can use Ganyu again just to match it. Go to hero, R1 again. Let's see if we have Ganyu here. My head is in the way again. Oh, here on the right. That's a nice one. Let's pick this. Now for logo, pick whatever you like, whatever matches your a uh, white thing. I think I like this one. I'll try going with this one. You can always come back and change it guys if you get bored of it. So let's change icon now. I think I like this one. I'm going to use this one. Now it's going to ask me to restart the deck to use the icon. So let's do that now. And here it is. As you can see in recent games we already have artwork here. And if we go to library, non-steam games, you can add it to favorites also. As you can see we have the artwork we choose. And here is the other artwork, the hero I think it's called. Now how to update the game, it's important the game updates sometimes. Uh, a lot of guides will show you to add the game differently and launch the game directly. But what I found out is launching the game through the launcher works and also it lets you update the game. That's why we didn't add the actual game exe, we used the launcher exe. Now show you how to update it. There's no update now. Just start the game. We're going to see the launcher here. Now if you have an update here, you're going to see update. Just hit update, wait for the game to update, and then you can hit launch again, and this will run the game. Now guys, if you found this video helpful, please do like it, subscribe to my channel, it helps me a lot. Also, check this video out. This is the video I mentioned earlier for the 16 deck hacks you must use. I'm Jacques of All Trades, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, okay, okay.